Hey guys, uh, Big Dave here. Today I'd like to talk to you about uh, cases and um, organizing uh, your horn safely into cases and a, a few little tricks that I've learned over the years. Um, here we have uh, one of my horns in a regular, uh, this is an Eastman form-fitted case and um, this is one, I, I prefer these form-fitted cases to the big boxes but everybody's different. Uh, this is actually a Selmer form-fitted case, and it has a zipper on it on the outside. Uh, and I'll show you that in a minute. And then um, this is another form-fitted case, which as far as I know is um, an Eastman also, but it's um, it's a flight case. So, um, But let me show you this first one, because uh, you want, you know, first of all, you want to have good heavy latches. And... Um, this way your horn is, you know, secured, and you want the hardware, like where you're going to hook up your strap or whatever, to be really sturdy. And, um, like I said, uh, this is an Eastman case, and uh, it's pretty durable, and, and it seems to work out for me without any problem. But, um, inside, what I like to do is uh, take my mouthpiece and put it into a pouch so that it's not uh, just flopping around in the case even though there's a place for it you know I'd like to keep it there um, and then here in the middle I have a clothes hook onto the top of the um, onto the top of this door because what happens is sometimes the stuff comes loose so here I have some uh, extra reeds, cork grease and uh, I carry a small knife that I do my reeds with. If you travel, uh, you got to get rid of the knife and use something else, maybe a file or a reed geek or whatever you like. But basically, I just have this going through. Um, I'm going to try not to make this video too shaky. But this hook, and then I have a small hole drilled here that holds this compartment closed. Um, you know, so it's pretty neat. I always like to keep my end cap on. It's good to do that because... Uh, it also takes up that extra space in the case. Now down here, this is an area that you want to be careful of. Uh, and it's where your thumb hook is. You see the thumb hook a lot of times presses into the bottom of the case. It's kind of hard to see that in this video, but um, right behind your horn. And what happens is when you put pressure on the back of the case over here, Sometimes if the horn is leaning against the back, uh, you can push on that hook. So what I do, I'll, I'll just show you, is I have a double fold cloth here. Let me just pull this horn out a little bit. Uh, I have a double folded cloth so that when I put it in, it sits against the block and it sits against my horn. So that once it takes up the space, it gives me some extra protection uh, on the horn that I wouldn't have had, you know, uh, otherwise. Okay. So again, I like these uh, sturdy latches and um, the way they close. You know, well, right now I have a little something stuck in here, so but I'll take care of that later. And uh, these are good sturdy latches, and the way they close. And the hardware, again, is nice and heavy. Um, so real quick, let me go on to the next one. Now the material on this other case, um, you know, just the fact that it's orange uh, gives you a hint right away about how sturdy it is uh, in some cases. You know, this is a heavier material. And... Um, what I have on here is my strap. This is the strap that I use most of the time. I like to pull this out. See, I have these heavy, uh, these heavy hooks on here. Now you can buy these in like a hardware, like a Home Depot or one of those places. Um, these are like uh, heavy-duty clips, and and I have aluminum uh, at the end of this strap. This is a real heavy strap. Uh, so it's very durable. I can carry it, and it's not going to break. And on the other end, I have another one of these clamps. Now this clamp opens like this. 
So I could get this off of here pretty easily if I need to. Uh, the other one is more is is screwed into it. So here, if I can do it, I'm kind of doing this sideways. But like you can see, and this is all heavy. This is aluminum, heavy strap. Um, let me just flip this one open. This is a similar thing. Here you have, um, on this one it has a Velcro. So I don't really need that little hook like I have on the other one because it already has a Velcro. So if you can get a Velcro, and you can even put it in yourself, but this came with one. And again, I have my mouthpieces uh, in a bag, in a pouch. You want to kind of just protect them because uh, otherwise inside the case they flop around even though you think there's room, you know, um, and they still end up flopping around inside the case. So you want to try to keep them secured the best you can. And uh, this cap, again, I have the end cap here, but it, you see it really doesn't fit into the top. So the horn has room to travel. Um, so eventually I'll get a better cap that's longer uh, to help it stay in position. I don't know why I have these stickers on here, but I do. Now this case here, this is another case. And this has zippers on it. So these are real heavy zippers. This is a Selmer case, so just give me a second here and I'll get this one open. This is another kind of design. But again, it's a form-fitted case, and I've used this a lot, and uh, you know, it's been beat up. Now when you open this, this has a slot for the neck here, and a slot for the mouthpiece, and it's already built in. But what I like about this case is it has a big extra padding back here where the thumb hook is, and that the horn rests against. So um, you can it stays inside this heavy cushion. So uh, this is an actual Selmer case. Now I don't know who makes it for them, you know, but it's pretty cool. Now the thing with this case is when you take the horn out, there's a tray. So I'll pull the horn out. And I don't want to make this video too long, but like here's this little tray in the bottom that comes out. And I have extra reeds. Uh, again, knife and a, and a pen, mechanical pencil, whatever it is. I usually carry pencils. I don't know why I have a pen, but I do. Um, okay? And again, this has a lot of really heavy padding that's very dense. And I like the padding that's in the back where the back of the horn and the thumb hook is. Because sometimes what can happen is, you know, if you press um, on that area, you can end up bending the hook in. Now this one is fine, no problem. So um, when I put this back in, you can kind of see how that hook stays in this space. And then there's a pad here. So uh, again, this has uh, a whole zipper around it when you close it, so there's no latches. But the hardware is, is heavy, where you hook up the, um, you can hook up the strap. Now I don't keep a strap on each one of my cases. I just use this one big, big, heavy strap. And if I'm, if I'm going to take a different horn with me, I just move the um, strap onto that case because I have these lugs and everything. So, and this one screws. You can see the screw opening on it. And, and then it flips open. I actually prefer these if you can get them. But, um, you know, you, the main thing is you just want it to be really heavy. And you can see how heavy this, this uh, piece is on here. You know, because you want to be able to protect your your horn and stuff, okay, free advertisement for bass and Otterbox. All right, guys, um, again, if you have any questions, you can always post something, and I'll be happy to answer it. All right, thanks. Uh, have a nice day.